I'm looking for a fan that will just make a, a light breeze and not use a lot of power. And all I'm finding here to buy is like tornado this and like 250 watts of like mega... Oh. I think I gotta do something myself. Several years ago at the scrap yard, I got two of these. I don't know, these were exhaust fans of some kind for something. And I stuffed them into these pieces of PVC just to kind of give it a holder. You know, let me get it out. All right, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but they're so, they're not designed very well. First, the wind's blowing this way, and then it's got this, this frame blocking a bunch of the wind and just messing up the thing. And then it blows through the wire too. Second, this propeller is terrible. Oh my God, look how, look how, look how not aerodynamic this thing is. It's got these, these things that, you know, make it stronger, but uh, I think what I need to do is I need to replace the propeller. The motor works well, and it's low power, and it's pretty quiet, and if I can just get a good propeller on this, it'll make a nice breeze. All right, let's plug this thing in to make sure it works. Without losing my fingers. All right, so the motor totally works fine. And uh, it blows kind of all right. But like, right here I can feel the breeze, but like, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement if I can improve this here propeller. So let's make a new propeller for this thing and then figure out how to mount it better and whatever. This is the one I was just looking at. Here's the other one. And I uh, hammered out those, those dents here to flatten them out and bent the propeller blades so they're blowing this way instead of that way over all the stuff. And it's a marginal improvement, but I think I'm just gonna totally get rid of the propellers and make total new ones. Yeah, it's not, not big enough of an improvement to keep. All right, this screws on. Which I found out when I was dismantling the other one. <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep that, it's getting pretty rusty. Let's get this little rubber thing. That connects there. Well, this one's different than the other motor. I mean, it's basically the same though. Okay. That's what I have to connect. I wonder if this nut will fit. Well, anyway, let me figure out how to make a propeller that'll fit on this little thing here. And then I'll figure out how to secure it. Kind of thinking of a wood propeller. This wood is nice hard wood, but it's too thin. Um, this is all stuff I cut on my lumber mill. Ooh, that piece right there, yeah. That's the same kind of wood, it's nice and hard. Wow, look at that curve on that piece of wood. All right, now how wide do I want this propeller to be? Definitely wider than the original, but not so wide that the motor's gonna, you know, be working too hard and overheat or anything. I went with 28 centimeters long. Probably a good size. I can always trim it shorter. I don't want to get any curves or divots out of this thing. Make sure it's a nice, smooth, uniform piece of wood. I think there's a low spot right there. Yeah, this piece of wood's obviously too thick to fit on that bolt. So I'm gonna have to drill with, uh, what are those things called? Forstner bit. And drill a big circle and just thin that out. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get this right in the middle. 
28 centimeters long. Okay. 28 divided by 2 is 14. And 5 millimeters across this. I mean, 5 centimeters across this way. Two and a half. Okay. Here's my dot. Alright, my starter capacitor is dead on the screen. That's deep enough. I just have to drill a hole the rest of the way through. That looks mm, a little bit less than a quarter inch. Ah, uh, you know, maybe I should drill this hole on the drill press to make sure it's 90 degrees, but this part's so thin, that's not what keeps the blade from uh, going out of whack. It's pressing up against this. Anyway. I can eyeball this. All right, that's a little bit too small, but I'm hoping, I might even make it a bit bigger than that. But I'm hoping I can thread it onto here. So All right. Thinking that my hole here should be just the right size to be able to screw onto here. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. No, let's get that on there. Just see if it getting a little bit of a wobble. You know what? I can actually tell by looking at it. This side is slightly wider than this side, so I have to shave off a tiny bit of here. All right, so, yeah, that way. Nice thing about doing this is I always get lots of good fire starting pieces. Okay, now I've got a decision. Do I want to carve the propeller blades in some sort of scientific manner with measurements and stuff? Or do I just caveman it and use my instincts and blah, blah, blah? You know, I feel like just taking an angle grinder and eyeballing it. I know what it, I know what the propeller shape looks like. I can do enough of the roughed out math in my head to get it pretty close. I mean, way better than this, anyway. All right.
All right, the basic, the basic shape I'm trying to get right now is just like roughing out something where the ruler starts out at a certain angle and the closer I get to the middle, the more it goes this way at an accelerating rate. So it should move slowly at first that way and then a lot more at the end. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, I think maybe just some fine tuning. I think that's, that's basically a pretty good shape. Still feels strong. I picked a piece with no knots in it. Uh, I think rounding out these, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I definitely don't want pointy edges in case the little kids stick their fingers up. Um, Yeah, maybe I just get some sandpaper and smooth, smooth it out. I think that's basically it. Oh, and I did it with two power level things left to go. And I better get my broom out. You want to sweep too? Grab the big broom and do the floor. Just make sure you don't fluff it up and you don't breathe the dust. Breathe it, or... Sweep it slowly, okay? Alright, that ends looking pretty good. Ooh, got some work to do there. Well, it's not perfect, but let's give it a Not bad. <laughs> okay, can you plug that in? I didn't balance this propeller yet, so it's probably gonna wobble a lot. Wait, wait, flip it over. Don't force it. Whoa, that is a lot more wind. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Pretty good, eh? All right, it is dead. Oh, that is. Oh, nice. All right, unplug it. It's definitely wobbling a little bit, so I want to get the propeller balanced better. But man, that is way more wind than it did before. How are you gonna balance the propeller more? How am I gonna balance the propeller? I don't know yet. Okay, the answer to your question. Stick a drill bit in there and let's see okay that propeller blade down there is heavier than the other one yep definitely heavier so I have to file down this one yeah it actually feels a little bit thicker than the other one you can tell. yeah uh, all right Thin this one out a bit. Oh, and there goes my nice sanding job. All right. This one was heavier. All right, still heavier. I think that's pretty good. Plug it in. Remember, the plug goes one way, not the other way. Oh, that is much less wobbly. Hey, wait, wait, don't get in the fan. Okay, ready? 
Whoa, this is... Don't, don't touch it, the blades. You is, can't see the propeller, propeller blades, but they're right there, okay? So don't go near This is way, way, way better. Yeah, that was a way more wind, isn't it? Why are we going over by the Hopefully it's not using any more power than it was before. Man, that is a lot more wind though. But, and um, it flew me over. You know, those other propellers were so inefficient. Plus there were six blades. So this came off the back of here. Although I do also have some mounting holes here. Those might be better for making some kind of... And the screws fit those too. Yeah, maybe I'll... Next. Ha! Oh, that is great. These need to be shorter. Everything else. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We only need two lock washers. We need four of those ones. So bring two of those. Two more of those and two shorter bolts. Now that's what we're looking for. Nice work. Give us some five. Here. Um, bolt washer. Bolt washer up through the middle. No, no, wait. No, no, back up, back up. Washer on here. Now put it up there. Alright, I got it. Uh, another washer. Then a lock washer. Wait, flip your washer over. It just totally doesn't matter, but I always like them that way. Yep, then a nut. <laughs> You're nuts. Good job. Hold on, let me grab it, let me grab it, let me grab it. Say go, tighten. <laughs> Try not to hit the propeller though, we don't want to dent it. The propeller is a precision item. You guys think that's going to tip over? Nope. It's pretty heavy down there. Yeah. Can always bolt something to the bottom if it does tip over. All right, I guess let's go give it a test. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we got to plug it in carefully because I have to make sure it's not. Oh, maybe something with this wire. I'm not. 100% sure that it's not going to Whoops. tip no. over. Okay, right, go ahead. Okay. You plug it in the right way. Flip it over, flip it over. You're doing the same thing about it. See, one of those plugs is, is longer than the other one, so it only fits in one direction. Not tip it over at all, is it? No, it's good. Oh, it's blowing me out! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, don't hit the fan. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to put a guard on this fan. You know how usually fans have a thing around it? I'm not putting one on. So, you have to pay attention and be smart enough to not stick your fingers in there or walk into it or anything. Okay? Wait, I, I'm I, not going to leave it in the middle of the floor. I'll I know there. you can't see the blade, but it's spinning so fast. You can kind of see, I can see it goes right out to, just right there. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's a great fan. I kind of wish I could test how much power it's using. Oh, 